So to wrap up our Inventor 2015 course, let's take a look back at what we've learned and also take a look at what the future might hold for us. So at the beginning of this course, we looked at how to interact with different files inside of this software. We learned about the associativity of files, how one relates to another, and how that tie needs to be maintained throughout your designs. We then moved on to looking at our part mode. Now inside part mode, we saw how to create two-dimensional sketches. We saw how to create modeling features that really help us drive our design intent of our files. Now once we had the core modeling files, the part files created, we then took them into an assembly file and we saw how to do the form, fit, and function to put them together. We checked for interferences, we checked for movement, we saw how to lock things down so they didn't move if we didn't want them to. Next we look at our presentation environment where we saw how to take our carefully constructed assembly and basically blow it up so we could show somebody how it goes together. Or we also might use that just for documentation and correct bill material ballooning inside of our documentation system. So in the last environment we looked at with creating those documents, we saw how to work with dimensions and annotative objects such as balloons and text and whole notes. We also saw how to work with our parts list to fully describe what makes up this design. Armed with this intelligence for these different modules and the things we covered, you're very, very capable of creating some very awesome designs now with Autodesk Inventor. And that's why we call this the fundamentals course, so you can really get in there and understand the basics about what you're approaching with with this Autodesk Inventor software. Looking forward, there's also other modules you can learn about. There's cable and harness, tube and pipe, there's iLogic, there's family configurations, there's sheet metal, there's surfacing. There's a lot more that's inside this software. Now, here at Infinite Skills, we definitely have created additional modules for you to look at. There's a surfacing module out there for you to check out. There's a sheet metal module, as well as a configured design module. So definitely look out for more upcoming modules, as well as the current existing modules in the library, to further enhance your knowledge about this software and what it can really do for you in an engineering and design world. And on a personal note, I'd like to thank you for attending this course and going with me on this journey for learning these fundamentals of the Autodesk Inventor software.